service and we want to appreciate the choristers um, for the rendition the first was an emporium solo and followed by victory to victory all the time and then what the bible stands um they've done tremendously but we want to put ourselves to task as well and see whether we are going to do better than them so we want to sing from cg um cgs number 10 as we opening to that, we want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you that may be watching us over the internet and say, the God that is here with us is there with you. Amen. May he bless you and bless us too. Amen. And that uh, we want to believe if you are quite close to us, you can also make your way to join us in the church. But if, you, if this stands to stop you from fulfilling such a, a task, uh, you may want to worship with us in the evening service, uh, which starts at 5 p.m.
Amen. 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 Let's believe. Something good is going to happen to you today. Before we pray, want to sing him from a hymn book, CGS. Want to sing him 658, which says, Blessed are they in Jesus. Those that are children of God, redeemed are they by his blood. They pass from dead into life. But guess what? Thank God. I'm counted worthy in this world and in the next. We'll sit down to sing through the first three verses of this song, but stand to sing verse four. After that, we shall be led in prayer. Father, we thank you. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise your name. Amen. We praise your name that we are counted worthy. Said so he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. The journey is not over, but we believe that you will give us grace for each day, Amen. grace for each hour, Amen. grace for each minute. Lord, as we gather here today, we just thank you that we can gather in your sanctuary. We came here in our right minds, our burdens we came with, but we believe that you are the burden bearer. And that as we have come into this sanctuary, that whatever problem we have brought in here, that you have the power to release us and deliver us. So our hearts are rejoicing that no matter the worry, you have told us to be of good cheer. Be of good cheer, for you have overcome the world. This is what gladdens our hearts, that on a Sunday morning, we can come in ones, in twos, in tens, in hundreds, to worship the great God of heaven. Glory be to your name. Jesus, this morning, as we gather together, speak to our hearts. Let your word penetrate our souls. If there be anything that you don't like there, let the word remove it. Amen. Speak through your minister today. Amen. Speak the word. Amen. Save souls. Amen. Sanctify souls. Amen. 
give us the baptism. Amen. Some people have managed to come. We pray that your word will be a healing power. Amen. We pray that your blood will be a healing power. Amen. And we pray that by faith they will receive healing in Jesus' name. Amen. We are praying for a revival. Amen. We are living in the last days. Yes. Things are going on down in a downward spiral. And it's getting worse and worse. But we can only pray this morning that through your spirit, there will be a lifting up in this house. That through your spirit, you will lift up the lowly. Oh, Jesus, we know some of our members are traveled far and near. It's the half term. We pray that wherever they are, that you will protect them. And then when they're coming back, you bring them home safely. We're just praying for a wonderful service this morning. As the choir will sing more songs, speak through the songs. Amen. As the Bible will be read, speak through the Bible. Amen. And just crown it with a wonderful altar service. In Jesus' name we pray. reading is taken from Psalms 32 we'll read one to the end blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven Amen. whose sin is covered Amen. two blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no God Three. When I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. Four. For, the, for day and night thy hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is torn unto the drought of summer. Five. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgression unto the Lord, and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Six, for this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall come, they shall not come now unto thee. Seven. 
Thou art my hiding place. Yes. Thou shalt preserve me from Amen. trouble. Amen. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Amen. Eight. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. Amen. I will guide thee Amen. with mine eyes. Amen. Be not be ye not as a horse, nor as a mule, which has no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bits and beetles, lest they come near unto thee. Ten. Many sorrows shall be unto the wicked, but he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Amen. Eleven and the last. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, he righteous, and shout for joy, O he that are upright in heart. Amen. He cares when you are troubled and the whole world seems wrong. He cares when the trials try to silence your song. He cares. When you are lonely, do your love with the throng. Jesus cares. Yes, Jesus cares. He cares when your heart aches. Take him your many the days. Jesus cares. He cares when you stumble in the heat. Oh, the day he cares when you are burdened and to weary to pray. He cares when you fail him, when your feet go astray. Jesus cares. Yes, Jesus cares. He cares when your heart aches. Take him your many burdens. Jesus he cares when you are stricken and your strength starts to win. He cares when you tremble with fever and pain. He cares when you have struggled, but the work seems in vain. Jesus cares. Yes, Jesus. He cares when your heart aches. Take him your many bad days. Take to God your many bad days. Take to Jesus your many 
Psalm 32. Psalm 32. From verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Verse 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guy. The topic of our word of exhortation is the blessed people. Amen. The blessed people. Amen. You know, when we talk of blessing, everyone welcomes blessing. We all want to be blessed. Yes. Yes. So, irrespective of uh, uh, whether we know what it means or not, it's just that, or how to get it, or the, the, the right blessing, or the true one, or the source of blessing. Or everybody loves blessing. So when, for example, when uh, parents or the elderly, when they are happy with the young ones, they bless them. Uh, maybe because uh, like a child to the mom and dad, sometimes uh, some people, because God has opened their eyes, the first wages they will they will get, even though they don't live with the mom and dad again, they will, they may not even know too much about uh, going to church, but they just appreciate that uh, mom and dad has brought me up, and this is my first uh, salary or wages. And then he goes to them, says, this is my first salary. How do you want me to spend it? I want you to guide me. Just take how, how much you want to take. Some children can do that. And the, the parents will be happy. Yeah. And for I mean, reasonable parents, they won't say, give me everything. <laughs> so... Whatever percentage they take, they want to bless him or bless her. That God has put this in your heart. God will bless you. You will be going up and up. And uh, you will never go down. And that child will be very happy. You know, even if the child is 20, 30, 40, and the dad is in the 70s, he's still a child to the parents. And the, 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 both of them, both the parents and the child will be happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, sometimes, maybe because somebody is uh, good to run errands for a brother uh, or somebody who is just an elderly person nearby, we know that uh, this environment is, is a little bit different. But... Uh, in some other parts of the world, when you know people they regard the elderly ones and the, what they can get, how they can advise them. So such a person, he helps me to do this yesterday, helps me to do something today. Then put your hand in the pocket, give him something, and say, "God will bless you. Yeah. You too will have somebody to help you." Yeah. And that is a kind of blessing too. So we usually uh, want people to say uh, you, you are blessed. And uh, you know, for the people of God, it's a special blessing. Yeah. And when uh, the minister of God says, God bless you, 
Okay, they are saying it from their whole being. Yeah. It's not just an empty word. No. You better, if you have not been saying amen from your heart from today, please take it as a point of duty. Amen. When the ministers of God say, God bless you, amen. it means a lot. Amen. So we see the... Uh, uh, material things of life, uh, riches, family, good health. It is uh, from God, whether we believe it or not. Yeah. It is from God. Yeah. And uh, God is the giver of all things. Yeah. As uh, we read in uh, James chapter 1, James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Yeah. And cometh down from the Father of lights, yeah. with whom is no fearfulness, neither shadow Amen. of turning. Amen. 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 On uh, the topic of our message is uh, special or uh, blessed people or peculiar people. Let's see Exodus chapter 19. I'm reading verses 5 and 6. Exodus chapter 19, verses 5 and 6. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me, above all people. Amen. For all the earth is mine, Amen. and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests Amen. and an holy nation. Amen. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Amen. So this was uh, God talking to the children of Israel, sending message to them through Moses. Well, they are being special is conditional on their being obedient. Yeah. In order to retain that blessing that God uh, wants them to be, they were supposed to be obedient. That is implicit obedience. So if we just cast our mind back for the children of Israel, they were redeemed from Egypt, and they are now going to a better land. Mm -hmm. so, and God is telling them that how he loves them, and that he has chosen them, he has uh, selected them, he loves them, and he wants them to be something for him. He wants them to stand a gap so that through them, the whole world can hear about the righteousness of God. They can hear about the love of God. And they too can uh, come and enjoy the same blessing that God proposed to give them. So they were to cease from uh, idol worship. And then because uh, the, in Egypt, all what they were doing was uh, idol worship. But when these people, because of the promise that God has made to their forefather, Abraham, that the, his children, they will go and serve somewhere, they will if who entreat them, and that he is going to bring them back. You know, when God promises, he will make it good. Yeah. God does not lie. No. Whatever God says, he's able to do. Yes. And when he says yes, he means yes. Mm. So when these people, when it was getting to the time, you know, God's time for your promise, God's time for your goodness, God's time uh, for all those things you have been praying for, as the clock is ticking, God will bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. We just need to continue to remind God. Amen. He will open the fire. Amen. 
And things will happen. Amen. Good things will happen. Amen. Said that he thought of good and not of evil. Yes. Is what he has for you and for me. Amen. So these people, when it was getting to the time, they cried. They cried. And God had their cry. You know, have you been crying? God is not dead. No. God will hear, will hearken, and answer. Amen. God will do something about your case. Amen. So, we serve that same God. He will never forget. Verse 12 of Exodus chapter 3. And he says, Certainly I will be with thee. Amen. And this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. Amen. When God says yes, it means yes. yes. He will surely do whatever he has said. So that was an assurance that as they were going, uh, the, this time they have not left Egypt, but God was assuring Moses that they will come out of Egypt yeah. and they will worship him on that mountain. Yeah. So you must mark that place that uh, whatever God has told you is going to bring it to pass. Yeah. Say, he cannot fail. Whatever God says, he will do. Amen. Say, have faith in God. Yeah. Have faith in God. Yeah. So we also, we are peculiar unto God. Amen. See, when they cried unto God, God delivered them. Amen. And brought them out. Amen. God brought them out. So you can begin to imagine. If you try to remember what problems you have been when you were still in your sins, when I was still in my sins, but let's see, in uh, Exodus chapter 12, verse 51, and it came to pass the self same day that the Lord did bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their armies. So you too can remember that day when you prayed and God told you your sins are gone. So God brought them out in fulfillment of his promise. And it's not telling them that uh, they are special unto him. They are peculiar unto him. So if we look at some of the characteristics of these uh, peculiarities, uh, they, are, they were supposed to, in order to continue to sweep in the boom of the blessings of God, they were supposed to obey God as they are waiting uh, for, to get to that place as they were joining. They were supposed to listen to God, to listen to God's word. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 3, I will just say some of uh, the summary. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things that are written therein, because the time is at hand. So, you know, when we gather together, thank God for our Sunday school lesson. The teacher was saying that God can use anyone. So who is being used is immaterial. You know, uh, during my uh, apprenticeship and the engineering process, we learned something about a conduit pipe. That is, is, is not the conduit pipe that is bringing the light. It's just uh, the cable is just passed through. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, just liken the people of God, either the Sunday school teacher, the person who is leading the uh, Bible study, uh, the minister or the choir or a soloist, we can liken him or her or them to that con conduit pipe. So the word is just coming through them. Amen. 
and the word is a two-edged sword. Say, so say, uh, uh, say, the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. Say, so piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow. And he said, designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So as this word is coming out, yeah. it comes to me first yeah. before it comes to you. Yeah. So our God is great. Yeah. So he wants them yeah. as they are waiting, as they are going to the promised land, to listen to instructions. You know, a soldier should take order. If a soldier refuses order, he, he can be shot. So we are soldiers of the cross. Yes. May God help us to obey. Amen. So the, all the strange things that God did for them, God is able to do yes. more than that. So, and uh, if we look at uh, the time that they were, they have settled in Israel, and the time that they have backslidden, we see what Elijah on Mount Carmel. He challenged them. And you know what was uh, very scarce by then? When Elijah challenged them, he says, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether you will serve the uh, Baal or God. Let's see which is the true God. He called uh, Ahab. Call all, all your prophets. Let them come. Said uh, then the prophets of Baal, you are many. When he said they should give them uh, two uh, goats, yeah, you choose one. You are very many. And then they chose one. They did all, the, all what they could do. There was no answer. What do you want to bring God? We are talking of the characteristics of these people who are peculiar. That uh, they want to obey God. You know, the altar on the heart of you or myself, maybe they are broken. And as this word is coming out, God wants me to repair my own. Yeah. God wants you to repair your own too. Yeah. Elijah came to the scene mm -hmm. after he even mocked them. Is your God asleep? Call him. Maybe he's gone on a journey. Our God is always here. Yeah. Our God is everywhere. Yeah. So Elijah repaired the altar. And when he has done the repair, you know, the repairing may be, maybe there are some things I need to confess. Maybe there are things you need to confess and you have been covering them. And the enemy of your soul is telling you they are not that important. That may be the blockage to your blessing. So we need to repair the altar. Yeah. And because Elijah repaired the altar, he was so bold. You know, one with God is a majority. Yeah. Those things that were scarce, he said that uh, they should pour. Let's see a bit of it. First Kings chapter 18. We are talking about the characteristics of these people. Repairing the altar. If the altar of your heart, if the altar of your heart is broken, then God wants you to do something about it. Elijah was bold, and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt you between two opinions? I'm reading verse 21 of 1 Kings chapter 18. If the Lord be God, follow him. But if they are, then follow him. So they were very happy about uh, his suggestion that they should go to Mount Carmel and then give them uh, two goats. And then you take your own, I take one. But after Elijah has repaired the altar, uh, verse 35 of chapter 18. Let's start from verse 33. Okay, I skip to verse 31. And Elijah took 12 stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. Amen. 
And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar as great as will contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order. You, need, you see, we must put everything in order. Yes. Everything must be in order. Yes. And God will walk. Yes. Our God will walk. Yes. And cut the bullock in pieces. And laid him on the wood and said, Fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. Say, and he said, Do it the second time. And say, Do it the third time. And they did it. Four barrels times three, that is 12. See, the time when that thing was cast, you know, maybe it's something that you have. And uh, you haven't got a lot, and God needs it. Will I surrender? Will you surrender? May God help us. Amen. Special or peculiar people. The blessed people. As you see, the song that we sang, one of them says, Bless uh, those, uh, do, those who are blessed of God. May we be counted among them. Amen. It is good to sing, yes. but we need to examine ourselves. Yeah. Have I, is my name written in that book, the book of life? So Elijah was bold and he challenged them. And fire came down. Amen. Because, first 38, then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice. Amen and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. We are talking of the characteristics of those special people. Mm -hmm. They want to do something according to the plan of God, according to the will of God that they know. It doesn't matter if people are laughing at you. No. You just follow God. Yes. Say that song says, even though we don't know, even though what he wants to do, we don't understand. Say, so we will follow on. Amen. May God help us to follow on. Amen. The blessed people. Amen. Am I one of them? Are you one of them? You can be from today. Yes. Our Jesus is able to save. Amen. Yeah. In our Sunday school lesson also, we heard about uh, the opposition to Jesus. The opposition, opposition was just rising rising. And the teacher said that, uh, if I remember to quote her word, that if there is no problem at all, if we are just, everything is just uh, uh, smooth, uh, then we have to examine ourselves. There must be problem. Because we will speak the truth. So if we want to do as the world does it, then uh, our blessing we continue, we start to reduce. And uh, when it reduces to the extent that uh, we are no more sure of our name in that book, that's very dangerous. And Jesus can come anytime. The blessed people. And uh, somebody also contributed that uh, God wanted uh, the disciples to go throughout the whole world. But they were settled in Jerusalem. But when persecution came, they were scattered. And they began to preach the word. We may not leave our door, but something boiling can take us here and there. And then our life, before we tell them, our life will tell the people that we are different. People of God, that we are different. When we tell them that Jesus saves, it will not be an empty word. No. Because our life is following what we say. Amen. May God help us. Amen. To endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Yeah. May God help us. Amen. And uh, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. Amen. Say, if we deny him, he also will deny us. And the word continues to say that he is faithful. He cannot deny himself. No. May God help us to 
to stand true. That uh, when we are passing through the fire, say it, they will not burn us. Yeah. And he can give us a smile. Yeah. Seemingly when we seem to be passing through persecutions, yeah. problems, yeah. things that are not uh, palatable, God can give us a smile. Yeah. Yeah. Because God has censored what we are passing through. We will not suffer us to be tempted above that which we are able. Yeah. But even with the temptation, oh, yeah. he will make a way of escape yeah. that you may be able to bear it. Yeah. First Corinthians 10, 13. Yeah, so we need encouragement, you know. We need encouragement. May God encourage us. Yeah. May God encourage us. Yeah. yeah. Because we know our God is great. Yeah. He cannot lie. No. What he says he's able to do. Yeah. You know, as we go along the journey with all the promises of God, let's see some of them from our text. That's Psalm 32. See, the condition that uh, uh, grants us to be among the blessed people is that uh, we have renounced our sins. Yeah. In verse 3 of the text, say, when I kept silence, my bones was old through my roaring all the day long. See, if for day and night thy hand was heavy upon me, my moisture is turned into the drought of summer. God deliver us. Amen. We don't want to be like those people in Jeremiah who said that uh, uh, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. May God deliver us. Amen. Mm. Why, should, why should we be in the class of such people? As we hear the word of God, we need to do something about it. As we read the Bible, we need to do something about it. God talks to us. And uh, if we neglect to hear what God is saying, well, it may appear as if there is nothing. But it is not good to continue that way. God wants to bless us. So that whatever comes our way, sometimes, like uh, this psalmist is saying, if we see, uh, since we are not going to read Psalm 51, when he was, uh, he's talking about uh, when he committed adultery, and he said that God has seen in him, he has committed the sin to him, and that God is justified. So sometimes, it may be that there is some thing in our lives that God wants to clean away. So if God is uh, trying to find us out, may we let him. Amen. May we let him. Amen. Say verse 5, Psalm 32 verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. And thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin. Amen. That is the love of God. Yeah. When we tell him that we are wrong, he will bring us back. Yeah. But if we say it doesn't matter, and God says it matters, then uh, we have more problems than we think we have. But we thank God who will not let us alone. He will always encourage us. Amen. See, verse 6, For thee shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto thee. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Say, say, Psalm 68, verse 6, 19. Verse 19. Talking about the blessing that God is loading us with blessing. Amen. 
We cannot count them enough. How God is loading us with blessing. Amen. Glory be to his name. Amen. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits. Amen. Even the God of our salvation. Amen. We cannot count them. The blessings of uh, protection. Yes. Provision. Yes. Protection. Yes. Deliverance. Yes. Our God is great. Yes. He will not leave us alone. Yes. He will continue to guard and guide us. Yes. Remember, one of the songs says we should lift Jesus up. He said, if we lift him up, yes. he will draw men unto himself. Yes. And the songs that we sang together, one verse says that uh, we cannot be a channel of blessing if our life uh, is not free from sin. Yeah, if the dad is telling the children about uh, to, be, to be free from lust, and they see that uh, dad is not free. They see that dad is, uh, is not faithful. And what dad is saying is to be like theory. May God deliver us. Amen. The world is going at a downward trend. But, uh, you know, I always like that place. It says uh, the, 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 the daughter the, the, the king's daughter is glorious within. Yeah. Yeah. What is the glory? Yeah. There is uh, an adage in my language which I will try to say in English. They will say that uh, for a king, there must be something to, of praiseworthy yeah. in that uh, yeah. the king's son. Yeah. There must be something that is worthy of praise. So if there's anything like that, children of God, there must be something worthy of praise. Yes. 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 Not praising that person, but praising God. Yes. Yes. That if God can help brother X, if God can help that sister, God will help me too. Yes. Yes. So we can make others to rejoice. Yes. If we carry our cross with a smile. Yes. You know, it's not easy to smile when there is problem. True. True. But God can give us a smile. Yes. Amen. God can give us a smile. Amen. Our God is great. Yes. Yes. The blessed people who have been taken care of, special care. And he said that we should lift Jesus up. When we lift him up, he will draw men, women, boys, and guys to himself. Amen. And then the parents are at home. The children have not seen them fighting. We are not angels. There could be disagreement. And then uh, we say to sometimes mom could be wrong, dad could be wrong. And let the children know I was wrong that time. True. That is godliness. Yes. No wonder it says, they that fear the Lord speak often one to another. And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written about them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Amen. They don't cover up. When mommy is wrong, she's wrong. When daddy is wrong, he is wrong. So that when we correct the children, they will know that we are speaking the truth. The bless of the Lord. Amen. God Amen. wants us to be blessed. Yes. And he's able to bless us. Amen. But the, the most important blessing is to have our names written in the book of life. Yes. You know, when he sent them out, they came back. And they were very happy to give report that even Satan was subject to them. He told them he saw more than what they saw. That he even saw Satan how uh, he, was, he was troubled, falling down. And he said that they should not rejoice because of that. All the victories God has given us, we cannot count them all. This is my brother, Brother Upe. 
when we say that uh, we are praying about our, uh, there's one of our children we are praying, we didn't know. But God told him and the wife to start praying in the night. God told them to pray and they obeyed. And God used that prayer. He used to say that God can do it again and again and again. And that is what God has been doing for us. When the people of God say, I have prayed it through, they mean business. Even though it seems the, the, the wall is behind and there is no road. God can break the wall. Yes. That is why we want to be faithful to that God Amen. who says we should come. Yeah. Let's go back to our text before we go and pray. Psalm 32. The blessed people. He said he's giving us uh, encouragement and warning too. Say, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. Yes. You know, we know not the way. No. No. But God knows the way. Yes. Yes. When he tells us to move, we move. Yes. When he says we should stay, and we don't know when to go, we should wait on him. Yes. God is never late, and is never in a hurry. Yes. God, please help us. Yes. Say, I will instruct thee. Amen. I will guide thee with my eye. That's Amen. verse 8 of Psalm 32. Amen. Say, be ye not as the horse or as the mule, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. May God help us. Amen. God wants us to obey. Well, in his love, sometimes he may need to give us a smack in order for us to realize that we are missing the way. You know, a child that loves the children, when he says, if you do this, I will punish you, irrespective of uh, the law of the country, the law doesn't say we should not discipline our children. Don't overdo it. He can do something to let her, him or her know Love you are not happy with what he or she has done. Love that is how God deals with us. Yeah. He doesn't want us to go astray. No. So no wonder that uh, we, not until we have something that will push us. But when some children, you know, when the parents just look at them, they know what they mean. Some children, it doesn't matter, you can be drunk. He, he will be living in his own, our own world. But there must be a way to help that child. Yes. That is how God helps you and myself. Yes. Because he doesn't want us to miss the mark. Yes. The blessed people. Amen. Verse 10. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But he that trusted in the Lord, mercy shall compass him about. Uh, may God let that be our Lord. That mercy will compass us about. Amen. No wonder then. Be glad in the Lord. Amen. And rejoice. Amen. Ye righteous. Are you one of them? Amen. And shout for joy. Amen. All you that are upright in heart. Amen. May God help every one of us to be. Amen. You can repair the altar of your heart today. Yes. Just rekindle the fire. Yeah. God is going to save souls today. Amen. He's going to sanctify. Amen. He's going to fill us with the Holy Ghost. Amen. The altar is the place. Yes. Make me a special people today. Amen. The peculiar people. Amen. You can be one of them today. Amen. God bless you. Amen. As we pray.
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. You are the God that blesses us. We have come to receive more of your blessings. Make us, the Lord, equal to the task. And when these blessings are falling on our ways, we will remember you as the source. Save souls today, O oh Lord. Sanctify souls, O oh Lord. Baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Heal today, O oh Father. Let everyone go home blessed. For we are the blessed people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.